body on my Losing all my innocence, yeah, body on my Finding all my innocence, yeah, body on my Losing all my innocence, yeah, body on my Hey guys, I'm Sina Jean here with EDM Canada and today we're here with Loud Luxury! Uh, Welcome back to We're back. Day, you're back! Thanks for having us, yeah. It's our pleasure. It's our second interview now. Oh, yeah. yeah. We just did one back in 2017 when the body was building up and now you're back. Yeah. Feels How's good. it going? It feels good to be back. Good. Slightly tired. Slightly yeah. jet lagged. a crazy run last week. Yeah. Yeah. We were I, running back and forth. From Gainesville to Toronto to Calgary, all the way back. To Muskoka. Yeah. yeah. And then I saw your Muskoka Miami. Yeah. yeah. It was all super fun, though, but really, really a lot. Yeah. And before that, we saw your dream. Yeah. yeah. That was cool. How, like, Arvin Van Buren, I think. Mm -hmm. One of my faves. Yeah. So we were just in town for that week. Yeah. We had some, like, press stuff to do. Yeah. And then we're like, yeah, let's go to Dreams. And then uh, he started playing it on stage, and we were just like, wait a second. And then, yeah. And then he kind of like looks at us. He's like, "Get out here!" Like, oh. Yeah, yeah. We we didn't. It wasn't pre planned or anything. Like I'm pretty oh, sure really? I'm pretty sure I had a mouthful of pad Thai. Like when <laughs> so that we were just like eating. It's because yeah, because he's really just like, "Hey, come up!" Like yeah. you guys are right here. Come up, and we're like, "Okay." Yeah. And I mean, any opportunity to get to do that in our hometown, you know, we always we're very grateful for it. And we appreciate it a lot. Yeah. I mean, how was it like the dynamic of being up there with him? Like I know you guys have been around with him. Uh, it was really really cool. Yeah. It's kind of weird because he plays trance. Yeah. So, like, when, when <laughs> I, we were doing it and we had to jump. It was like boom, yeah. Boom, boom, I was about boom. to say cool but weird because it was like a tempo I'm not used to and like. We're so used to art, like playing the sort of music that we do, and has a bit more yeah. of a groove to it. Whereas, like, I think the song that he mashed up was just very like, like fast, almost, yeah, almost <laughs> like hard style. Are you ready to speed things up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then it goes, Are yeah. we ready? And then it goes pretty much like hard chance, and we we're trying to dance to it, and I was like, whoa, like I can't do this. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It probably looked like a terrible yeah. dancer. Well, like you guys have the flag up, I think, right? Yeah, as well. yeah. So yeah it was, like flag. all, yeah. all at once. Yeah, it was just a lot at once, but it was super fun. Yeah, yeah. and then we were, you were back here at Rebel and then Cabana with yeah. Tiesto, mm -hmm. which was also yeah. great. great. Like, yeah. was that just to, <coughs> to surprise your fans here in Toronto? Uh, well, we were with him in Vegas, and uh, we ended up just coming back here. Yeah, we had some like meetings and stuff to do also that yeah. week, and yeah. then it, it was just like. It ended up being like a five day bender because yeah. we had a show. I'm so sorry. That's all right. We had a we had a show in Vegas and then it just like trickled yeah. down of like party and party and party and party. Yeah. That was like pre planned but not because we were in Vegas and he brought us up. Yeah. And we were like awesome. And then we were and he's like, Oh, where are you guys off to next? We're like Toronto. He's like, I'm playing there. And so <laughs> yeah. we just ended up linking up again. So it worked out perfectly. That's amazing. <clears throat> um and um from like all of these experiences, have you had other DJs where you hadn't met them before, but they wanted to have you on stage and like performing body? Uh, yeah. I think I think for Armin and Tiesto, it's a little bit yeah. different because Tiesto because Body is on Armin's label, yeah. and Tiesto was literally like the supporter. day one. Yeah. Like I mean, our OG supporter, and not to mention probably one of the day one DJ supporters of Bonnie, yeah. you know, putting in the sets, really trying to get mm -hmm. people to hear it. So I think there's a special connection there. Um, and, you know, we're super grateful for it. Yeah. Do you like being on with Tiesto and stuff like that? What have you learned from that experience of, like, being, and, like, because that's, like, top tier, right? So, like, once you get there, like, it must be, like, I'm sure a lot of DJs are looking up to you being, like, oh, I want to be, like, I mean, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of always been, like, a big dream for us. Like, like, I remember watching... Uh, the ultra live stream or like Tomorrowland live stream yeah. and stuff like that when I was like studying for exams So like whenever I would see like them bring people out I was always like oh, I wish that was us kind of thing So yeah. it's like a really cool feeling to actually have that happen to us now on like a bit like on this scale mm -hmm. Yeah, and just being around him you notice is very interesting because he treats everyone the same amount of respect Very friendly, mm -hmm. you know just loves to party uh, and it makes you realize that no matter how big you might get in your career, like it all comes back to just, you know, bring the party to people. So that's cool. That's awesome. Great. All right. So talking about top tier, now mm -hmm. I want to talk about getting there. And um, have you played some weird shows that you want to maybe mention or talk about? Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What Tons is like, of the weirdest show. thing? Tons of weird shows. I wouldn't say <laughs> bad shows. Not I'm just saying story. weird. Not in like the last yeah. year, I would say, but. Definitely us coming up in like in the university yeah. scene and stuff like that. I definitely there's some weird like some quinceañeras. 
No, no, no quinceañeras. <laughs> lots of semi-formals. Lots. I would of... say the weirdest one we've ever done was our Jamaica show. Yeah. Oh yeah. What yeah, happened? Uh, well, it kind of turned into like sort of a, a mini vacation slash a show. Yeah. But uh, we we were in Kingston. And we literally went to all of the places like you do not go if you're like a tourist. But yeah. luckily we had people with us, so it was chill everywhere we went. That's but it's like we told our managers after and their eyes were just like. <laughs> yeah, we went to a bunch of really, really interesting areas. Um, but the show was funny because it had like full scale festival production. But um, it ended up. We, we I don't played, 15 played 15 minutes. Because the guy, like, literally, the gun, organizer ran up to apparently. me. He's yeah. like, there's gunshots across the way. Oh He's my like, God. find Andrew. You're going on in three minutes. You're only playing for 15 minutes. Yeah. So I had to like run right. and find him. I'm like, what the hell is going on right now? Yeah. God. Lately, yeah. the gigs are more like good, weird, like playing in Whistler and it's a bunch of Austin's and they all just end up like naked at the show. <laughs> yeah. It's stuff like that, you know? It's like there's good, weird, and there's bad, weird, and we're getting more of the good, weird lately. Yeah. I'm happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> so that, that, to answer your question, that would probably be our weirdest show. Yeah. Okay. But it was very nice because I love Jamaica. So we got like a vacation. We got to chill. Yeah. And, and you had to eat like the dangerous stuff safely or whatever. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Um, I want to talk about Sex Like Me. That's mm -hmm. your newest single. Yep. And uh, it's been great. Thank you. And I love it, obviously. <laughs> um, what about new sounds that are coming up? So like, what are the next things? Are they gonna sound more one. like that one? Yeah, like so we got, uh, different. It's gonna different? be different. Okay. Yeah. We got we got a single coming out at the beginning of August, right? In time oh, called Festivals oh. Removing. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. <laughs> um, it's with this really talented artist from uh, Toronto that goes by the name Anders. He's okay. more from the hip hop and R&B world, so it's a very cool crossover. We're really excited about it. Um, and yeah, we just can't wait for them to hear it. I'm so excited. Is there a video that's we'll going to be following? It. Yeah, yes. we're actually working we're on it right now. Yeah, we're literally yeah. just planning it. We're, we're literally in the back room right now just trying to make some calls for some weird stuff. Because oh. there's, there's some very grandiose yeah. things that are required to pull off this video. Can you give us any like, No, but you'll get the okay. invite. <laughs> I, 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 mean, yeah. I mean, we were just on the phone with someone basically being like, hey, can we use your massive multi-million dollar cottage and trash it? So, weird stuff like that. <laughs> I, mean, I hope they say yes, because I'm really excited to Fingers see it. Fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And so today we're here for a really fun event. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, Spinco's anniversary. Yeah, and yeah. like Great Play is a great charity. Yeah, of course. Um, I've seen and other I mean obviously because Body's so huge, almost one hundred million streams. Yeah, almost there. Congratulations. Super exciting, thank you. Thank you. Um three more days. Three more days. <laughs> and so um I also saw that you guys have the dance. Uh, studio in Toronto. Mm -hmm. we just mm -hmm. Millennium. Yeah. That was awesome. That, that was really cool. Really that cool was kind of our first time really doing like stuff of that nature yeah. and really like being recognized for like, like what we've been doing. So it's yeah. like, really cool to actually get to do that sort of stuff. Yeah, seeing like the impact. Mm -hmm. the yeah. I mean, you know, what we've noticed, especially coming back here, is that lots of people know the song. They don't really know our story, so what we're just trying to do is let people know who we are as well, you know, and let them know our story. Yeah. We uh, did a little thing after, uh, like, the following weekend at Camp Timberlane, that was pretty cool too. Yeah. Yeah. So like, wow. a lot of cool stuff like Lots that. of impact. Yeah. And like, do you exactly. feel, do you feel that that's Yeah, like yeah, because it's like these little yeah. kids that are like, they know us and they like, yeah. they know the lyrics and know everything about us. And it's just a really cool feeling. For it me. just feels like what you're doing matters. Yeah. You know, and that's a good feeling. Oh, it's so made, it makes you want to work. It makes you want to work twenty times harder. Oh well, please do because we're looking forward to it. We got you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and last thing before I let you go, we're so looking forward to seeing you at the Bell this yes. year. I saw your posters on the buses, and I just like, hey, those guys, I love them. <laughs> and so just like passing them. Even Thank when you. we're gone, we're always here. Yeah, yeah. we're watching. <laughs> yeah, I get a Snapchat of that like every day. Yeah, and yeah. I just always reply, I'm watching you. And That's now we like, have this, the Spotify uh, posters everywhere too. Yeah. yeah. Well, what can we expect from you? And Bell's going to be really wanna, special. You don't want to say too much yet. Bell's going to be super special. It's the first festival ever that was supporting us from like yeah. day one yeah. from the basement. Uh, so as a result of that, there's just tons of surprises that we have. You know, it's really an opportunity for us to just bring our performance to a whole nother level. There's a couple and things we're uh, waiting to confirm right now. Yeah. But they're, they're oh my gosh. So yeah. many phone calls. Yeah. Lot, yeah. <laughs> Man, the war room, you know, the phones are ringing off the charts right now. Like, we got some favors to ask. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to it. And Toronto, bring your A game. Bring your A game. See you guys soon.